from the beginning of my life i have been looking for your face but today i have seen it today i have seen the charm the beauty the unfathomable place of the face that i was looking for my soul is screaming in ecstasy every fiber of my being is in love with you my arrow of love has arrived at the target i am in the house of mercy and my heart is a place of prayer. Exactly a year ago, I was driving from Seattle to Squim to attend a meeting. That meeting would change my life forever. My spiritual journey started in 2007 when I was parking at work. The last word on the radio I heard, he. And it strikingly just stuck in my consciousness. That was the beginning of my journey, my spiritual journey, my spiritual identity. It took me to the several teachers like Deepak Chopra, Dr. Wayne Dyer, Ekar Hartoli. I read their messages, I read their teaching, and every teacher prepared me to go to the next level or next teacher. And finally, I met one of the greatest teachers on the earth, Barbara Brodsky, and the entity called Erin. Erin really showed me what the love is all about and what is the separation and the relationship between us and the rest of the universe. Not knowing that Erin was preparing me for my next journey, or next teacher, Joshua. He's a personage of 2,000 years ago, and he has very limited importance today, as he's been reported to be this and that of people's belief systems, and the main thing is that over my lifetime, nearly 60 years now, I have more or less been very, very interested in finding more truth about myself, and in doing that, I've searched a lot of avenues of learning, different books, different teachers, and I always come back to his teachings 2,000 years ago. The way I will explain Joshua is this, on the love. Um, I, the, I, the way I grew up um, in a spiritual atmosphere, environment, and that actually helped me to recognize Joshua's love. So when Joshua came, I felt a great warmth. I felt a great sadness and the joy of reuniting after a long time. First thing Joshua told me that he invited me there and I I totally believed it because there was no human involved in giving that invitation. That's when I was introduced to her and that made a very powerful impact in me because the voice changed, the, the energy changed um, her. And when I opened my eyes and looked, her eyes changed. And all I could feel was love, you know? But it's a different kind of love. I felt like I was at home. <laughs> 